everyone, welcome to episode 37 of United City Randomizer. To, to say that I am not a fan of March of the year 2022 is an understatement. It's been a nightmare. So we played uh, Leipzig in the last episode and since then we've had another two defeats and we just haven't looked like getting anywhere near winning these matches at all. They were two home games, we had decent crowds there. And we just never got going. And the morale dropped to a point where after the Schalke game, I held a, a team meeting just to boost everybody back up again. Because whichever way we went, whatever try, uh, tactic we tried or formations or personnel, nothing was happening. And everybody was just um, quite down in terms of motivation for these games. So you can see, I mean, through the season, it's been pretty good. We had a really decent start then. November was a poor month where we lost three games. We had a little bit of a blip back end of January, early February. And then again, we've been inconsistent and lost the last three games in a row. But uh, surrounding that, we've had some decent results that have kept us up in a decent position. Although not quite the second place that we were in, in the last episode. We've dropped down to fifth. We've got to get uh, the last game of this particular weekend so that will show that if we could win it that would put us back up a place or so again um, if we lose it then we are really in the uh, sort of struggle for Europa League rather than the Champions League I still think we've got enough of a cushion to stay in at least sixth by the end of the season but really we need to change these results we need to turn this around now because if we don't we're going to start slipping out of these um good european spots which we really don't want so because of the um the lack of uh good performances and the lack of motivation and other bits and pieces and and happiness from some players we've we've shifted a few things around a little bit and we're thinking a little bit longer term for next season as well burnich is coming into the club permanently next season and I think it's time now that um, we shift some of the players out that have got as far as they can go. I think people like Silva aren't playing very well this season. He's only got a 6.72 rating. It's not good enough. So Burnich is coming in to replace him. Um, Cabal, the young 19, 20-year-old goalkeeper, is improving in terms of his attributes, which is really positive. So it's now time for him to stake a case and time for to see whether he can get past Greitbus. He's got some really good ratings, Cabal. So we're going to put him in from now on and see what he can do. He's played a bit this season, but, you know, Greitbus has been the number one up until this point. Uh, Marin has lost his spot to Gravenberch and has done for a while now. Um, so those are the key changes, and we still haven't got a striker that's in form, unfortunately. But for now, we'll give uh, Fabio Silva the opportunity and see whether he can um, get rid of his... Um, problems in front of goal because he's up to several hours now of not scoring um, in gameplay so yeah that's that's where we're at you can see uh, let's change those two around put Tiro on the bench he's got decent ratings we, we're we've got some players that are performing okay um, but it's, it's not really been consistent enough and that's the problem. So today we're going to try and change that. We get a very difficult game again today against uh, Wolfsburg, who are the place above us, which again, if we can win the game, then that really helps us move above them and, and get clear of that a little bit, which would be really positive. But they are going to be tough. Of course, it's an away game, which makes it tough. But I'm going to play on the front foot and we're going to go there and we're going to use the Geg and Press system from the beginning to see if we can press them and implement our style of play on the game uh, from the beginning and see if we can get a positive result. So all of that being said, that's where we're at. You see things have taken a downward turn, but hopefully today we can change that. So let's get into the game and see what happens. So having tried recently to do everything I can to motivate this group of players and change the uh, the feel around the place, I think I'm just going to simply leave it to my uh, assistant manager to um, encourage them before the start of the game. It didn't get much of a response, but enough. And then I'm going to go in in the individual sections and tell them there's more to come from them, that I have faith in them uh, in a positive way and tell them that I think they've got what it takes. And so hopefully that will... Um, get more people motivated it's done okay a few people look happy so yeah let's go into the game and and then see whether we can have a, a positive impact so we get kickoff 
in the first half away from home against our Europa League rivals in terms of trying to get into the Europa League or European Champions League spots and immediately we have a problem. See, one thing after another, isn't it? You know, you, you settle on a new um, group of players a little bit in terms of changing out a couple of them and one of them immediately gets injured. What's his injury? Uh, potential lower leg, that uh, could be problematic, couldn't it? And Burnic is off straight away, so Silver has had to come on. So that disrupts it a little bit. But, you know, seven minutes in, we, all we can do is carry on, really. Um, do the best we can do and put the players in that we've got and try and play better than we have done. Um, so far, it's not so bad because in the last few games, we've let in a few early goals here and there, and that hasn't quite happened this time round. We're in the game in terms of chances created. Um, uh, the possession's not too bad. And here they go for an opportunity on a right-sided throw-in. Uh, they keep the ball nicely and work it well on the right-hand side. William on the right and cuts it in. And <sighs> Yuri Alberto strolls through our defence. Nobody follows him in at all. And he pokes it home. And I don't know what to tell you, really. I, I just... Where was the marking? Where was the... Why were three people all pushing at the same player on the left-hand side of our defence? They should have at least let one of them drop off with the runner on the on the wide uh, right for them. Oh, I don't know. It's just poor defending all round, really. Um, very disappointing. Um, we're at 36 minutes, 1-0 down. Here's a corner for us. Uh, gets cleared to the edge of the box. Graven Birch, is he going to keep it? Yes, he is. He uh, Silver finds Wilson again on the left-hand side. Crosses over. Too far. Graven Birch on the edge of the box. Oh, what a bit of luck. Decent shot. Hits the post. Rebounds off the post. Hits the goalkeeper in the back and goes in the net. And we'll take that as a 1-1 one, uh, as a one, one, uh, equalising goal for us because of how poorly we've been doing recently. We'll take anything. Graven Birch has, has done all right in terms of his long shots on, on the edge of the box through the season. He gets a, a few decent um, uh, opportunities. And on that occasion, it was a bit lucky, but it was a good shot. And we, we picked up a bit of luck to get the equaliser. Here they come on a free kick, but we clear the ball and Wilson picks up the ball and then gives it straight back. Again, poor, poor play. No real desire to keep the ball and, and play simple, good passes. It's always we give it to them too cheaply. Um, uh, fortunately, they weren't able to counter on us and, and get an opportunity for a shot at goal on that occasion. But it's just poor play. We're in the game. Our possession stats are low, but the Gegen press doesn't really um, instill lots of possession. We've lost Burnich. We've had a few attempts at goal and we got a bit of a lucky equaliser. That's the story of the first half. Hopefully we can do something in the second half. I'm going to passionately go in and say, um, let's say, let's give the fans a good performance and see if that can... Again, nobody's motivated, really. A few people are listening, but, you know, there's nothing in that, really. Hopefully in the second half... Somebody can have a moment of inspiration and l unlock the game for us a little bit. Um, but it's, it's yeah, it's just like pulling teeth at the moment, trying to get a decent performance out of this group of players that for big chunks of the season played well. Here's a long throw to uh, Wilson. Graven Birch again on the edge of the box. I think Silver might have been offside there. Uh, we'll see. Uh, let's see. Uh, shows, yeah, it was offside. I thought it was. It was. It was quite an obvious one, really. Look, it was miles offside, wasn't he? Really, a shame. You know, decent long throw. Our long throws are good. That it works well for us, um, and we often get uh, shots on the edge of the area for it. Here's another one coming in. This time it goes straight to the goalkeeper, though. Unfortunately, there was none of our players there to challenge for the ball, which is a bit disappointing. Are they going to then counter-attack on us? I think they're certainly going to try. It won't be over the top to Alberto, who, but we get a decent um, tackle in, which is really positive. Um, and Kempf was the one who got the tackle in, and now we get an opportunity to see if we can build from the back. They're chasing us down quite well. Um, I hope we don't lose it. We didn't, which was positive. Fabio, on the end of the long clearance, though, loses out. But Wilson picks up a loose ball and charges centrally. A nice little ball through from Gavin Birch onto Malcolm. And his right foot slots it home into the far corner, which is really nice uh, worked goal through 
um, regaining possession at the back and then going long and picking up a loose ball. Um, here's the loose ball for Wilson to get. He um, cuts it across to Gravenberg, who pokes it very nicely onto the on-running Malcolm, who powers it into the back of the net, which is really cool. Good goal. That's a much better bit of play than we've seen for a little while from this team. So can we keep that momentum going and, and find another one maybe, or, or at least keep pushing at their defence when they've got the ball and, and trying to use the Gegen press to win the ball higher up the pitch? We're at 69 minutes. I'm going to make a couple of substitutions at this point. Um, just there's a couple of um, players that aren't doing so well. Wilson, although he intercepted the ball, he doesn't have a great rating. So Davies will come on for him. Uh, we've got a couple of yellow cards, but they're both playing very well. So I'm tempted to leave them on and hope that they can get through the game with no problems. Silver hasn't managed to do much up front. So we'll bring a Mecca on for him. Uh, I think I'll leave the other one for five minutes or so. Uh, see whether that changes anything in the game. And then come back in and make another one for the last sort of 12 minutes of the match. Another substitution maybe for the last 10 minutes or so. They have a, an opportunity to build from the back again. Uh, hopefully our Gegen Press will get a tackle in. Here's a long ball. Can our defence grab it? They can. El Nenny finds the loose ball and puts a lovely ball through to Davies. Who doesn't really get the cross in unfortunately. They clear it long again. Um, and get a bit lucky in retaining possession of the ball. And Alberto comes away with it. Long cross uh, over to the other side. Iwobi with a shot. But Cabal uh, manages to parry it round the post for a corner kick for Wolfsburg. So a decent move for them. But we got a, um, a good goalkeeping shot um, stopped um, by Cabal, which is really positive for him. They have it on the edge of the box and go long shot, but it goes curling slightly round the side of the goal, which is positive for us in the sense of, you know, they, they didn't manage a, an on-target opportunity. There's the ball through to Iwobi, who gets a, a very good shot, but it was pretty much directly at the goalkeeper, who does very well to parry it. So Cabal's doing fine. You know, that's a, a decent... Uh, opportunity for him to stake a claim to the number one spot again they go fairly long um, we get a foot in for the tackle but it, they get the loose ball again the goalkeeper comes out and closes down the angle and parries it round the, the post so he's been busy here comes to cross again from the corner we get it cleared to Davies on the edge of the box and he brings it away which ends the highlight which is good that long ball is a problem they're finding Alberto quite a lot with it Wolf continues to run forward and with his foot, I think Cabal pokes it round the corner, which is, yeah, he's done very well. I've been impressed by Cabal today. He has, you know, this is not his first game by any stretch. He's done pretty well. He's staking a claim for the number one position now. Um, here they come again off a free kick, but we get a good tackle in. We get an opportunity to break. We could break um, nicely here. And Mecca with the ball, probably up to him too early. It could have gone to somebody else first, but... Um, we lost the momentum slightly. Heist with the long cro uh, cross in from the left-hand side and it, uh, the goalkeeper comes out comfortably and saves um, the ball with no problems. Um, and they start to build up from the back again. Can we push them back and, and get a tackle in an opportunity to win the ball? We do. And Gimba with the ball at the back. Can we keep safely passing the ball through uh, a press that the Wolfsburg players are putting onto us? We've gone right the way back to the goalkeeper to keep possession, which I quite like. That's fine by me. Unfortunately, the, the goalkeeper cleared it in a uh, slightly poor way. Uh, that's really unfortunate. Cabal's done very well, but his clearance wasn't good enough. It wasn't direct and specific enough. And they managed to get a, um, an opportunity to grab a, uh, an easy interception at that point. There you go. And Itta brings the ball forward and crosses it far right for Wolf on the right foot to power it past the goalkeeper, unfortunately, who wasn't quite set. So disappointing that. I thought we'd done okay and, and may have grabbed a win, but... You know, in in the big scheme of things, if we can come out with at least a draw, please don't lose now. Oh, that would have been awful, wouldn't it? But we cleared that particular corner. <clears throat> um, it looks like we might grab a draw, which, you know, at this moment I'll take just because the last couple of games have been so bad. Um, maybe we've got one last chance in us, a long throw, but they comfortably clear that. Omaru, our former player, obviously is now playing for Wolfsburg, clears that. So um, it's interesting to have old boys play against us again. Here they break one last time maybe, but nope, Heist picks up the loose ball and Cabal clears it. 
um, unfortunately not to any of our players so we're going back and forth and that's the end of the highlight game uh, for the game um, in the end a 2-2 draw I think we were a little bit unlucky with the last goal that they scored I think it was a, a little bit unfortunate that um, the goalkeeper cleared it and it wasn't quite specific enough and they picked up a loose ball and drove back at us but all in all it wasn't a bad match. I will let the assistant manager appreciate their efforts and get some motivation in the players, get them a bit happier, which hopefully will help us in the next few games. Um, against a, a top table rival, getting a draw isn't bad. You can see we've got enough of a gap, I think, between us and seventh place to guarantee a sixth place spot, I hope. Um, moving forward into next season with some European football which was always our aim if in the next couple of games we could get a couple of positive results maybe we can re-challenge for the Champions League spots again who knows um, but that's for another day we'll go in and check where the next game will fall for us um, and yeah I mean we'll play Bayern Munich again won't we why not I mean all of our high scoring games from the past this time round earlier in the season wasn't such a high scoring game was it we lost unfortunately but it was only 1-0 so that was almost an improvement on the 7 and 5 goals that we've let in from them before so we'll give it another go against Bayern Munich away from home unfortunately couple of interesting games between now and then including Borussia Dortmund who are on the rise so you know it doesn't get any easier but we're in a decent spot. We've, I've said all the way through, if we get Europa League football, that's fine by me. That's what I'm hoping for. So we're on course for that. So that's great. So yeah, bring on the next episode and the mighty Bayern Munich to see whether we can really continue to push for that. So if you've enjoyed the series, chuck us a subscribe on the channel. Keep up to date with the videos. Um, if you're enjoying the episodes, chuck a like on the episode. That would be really helpful to me just to get my channel more noticed, which would be really positive. Um, if you're playing football manager yourself, tell me all about your saves in the chat or on my Twitter feed or whatever. Um, and enjoy the, the experience of playing yourselves if you are. Um, so, yeah, that will do for today. Episode 37 done. I will look forward to seeing you for 38 uh, in a couple of days' time. So, bye for now. Thanks very much for watching this episode of the United City Randomizer Save. If you enjoyed the video, then why not click on the like button, as that would really help me. If you think you know anyone who would really enjoy my Football Manager content, then feel free to share this with them. But most importantly, if you would like to join my United City here on YouTube, then hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with my video releases. If you have anything you want to say about the United City Save, or the channel itself, then feel free to leave a comment below, but please try and be nice with each other. That'll do for today, so until next time, stay happy and healthy, and I will see you soon.